what is up it's your boy in here bringing to you guys a brand new freaking video man so look listen today today we got a fun one today we got an exciting one today we got a banger so it's been some time since I've made a video and well, I can't tell you how much I've missed it, but we're at our new campsite for the weekend. One thing I do want to show you guys that uh, I already showed Sandy and she's not a fan of. Also, there's a shooting range somewhere over yonder. Check this out. Warning, be bear aware, stash food and trash. This is why. This is why I've been telling you we were gonna get a rooftop tent. There's so much stuff that we have inside of the truck that I don't think you guys have seen. And I think you guys are gonna roast me on, on some of the stuff. So we got an absolute banger of a camping video. Stay tuned, make sure to leave a like, a comment, and a subscription. Question. Are rooftop tents anti-deer? Anti-deer? With Sandy, if they warn us about bears, it means there are bears. We might as well have a bear standing right there waiting to just eat us. Show them the trail. Show she the thinks trail. they set this up for the bears to walk in. You know how many bears fit through there? Probably like five. Camp is all the way set up. We got the changing room. We got the tent set up. You guys might get on me for this, but um, I found some pallets and well, that's what we're using as firewood for today. We got our trusty skillets. We're actually making something that we've never made on the channel, but Sandy makes this all the time. It's super, super good. Also, um, well, I th do you think they know? Probably. At this point, you guys better know. We set up camp. We work hard. We get to play hard. Lunchables, let us know. Are we supposed to heat these up? Doesn't say. It does have a Kit Kat. Lunchables are gone. There's a lot of new stuff. I got a toilet. I'll be honest with you guys. I have never had to go in like the five or six times I've gone camping. But just, just in case. This right here, I had been begging. Begging Sandy to get. I mainly wanted it for this. Water just drains and creates big puddles. But this way, it solves the problem. I got a little creative and I put a little bit of a smiley face on there. I wanted to do the typical overland setup and put it on there. I went and bought these little hook thingies so I could mount this on there. It gets really close to smacking this. So I have to figure out another alternative. Also, shout out KB Voodoo. I appreciate you guys. So let me know down below. Have you ever used pallet wood as firewood? I'd like to know. All right, I don't know if you guys remember, but the last time I went camping, I got super sick. Problem was, it said it was supposed to be like 60 degrees and it dropped down to 39. That's a big jump. Now I know that mother nature can do that. Did I mention there was a firing range? So as you do, you live and you learn. I didn't learn. I didn't buy as much stuff as I think I should have. I will say this is one of the nicer parks we've been to and I can't wait to show you. All right, so we're gonna go show you guys something that's way down yonder, but look, there's a trail and we're definitely going down it. Check this out. I don't know how this happened. I used to be the biggest nerd. All I wanted to do was stay inside, but now things like this fascinate me. Check that out. I understand. We do not come to Aang's channel for the views, but look at this. You think we can get over there or is that road? It looks like there's a trail. Babe, yes. how many times have I gone fishing with you? None. You know how many times I went fishing without you? Quite a bit, I guess so. No, none. No. If I had to guess, I don't think that's how you're supposed to fish. <laughs> and it only keeps getting better. Look how high up. You guys, I guess on camera it doesn't look, but that is probably like four Tacomas away from me. It's just... It's breathtaking. It's so, so pretty out here. Well, we're back to home, sweet home, again for the weekend. Time to start the fire because Sandy's about to start to cook. Let's see if this uh, if this is actually gonna light. A Little bit of an update, you guys know, it wouldn't be an Aang video without an absolute fail. So that pallet wood was like fireworks. Each dollar got you a piece of firewood, so I got like a bunch more in here. Burgers, schmurgers. I don't know. <laughs> All I'm trying to say is those burgers, those sandwiches, Cannot touch this. This is delicious. Yo. Beautiful. I'm opening up my own Taco Bell. I'll be the main chef. I'll be in the front. If you guys like guac, you have to try this. I usually don't buy guac from the store because it's usually pretty garbage. Wow. 10 out of 10. Look at that moon. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, I've been meaning to do this. I haven't ever really had a good wood fire. So I'm going to put my camera into some really good quality and roll some slow-mo. There's been a few downers, okay? There's been a few things that I'm not too happy about on this camping trip. One of them, that tire right there has a big old nail in it. Secondly, this thing, for some reason, making my water yellow. So I don't know what to, 
I don't know what's going on there. I'm gonna respect the fact that they told me to watch out for bears and try my best to put everything inside the bed. Why would you put the tent facing the woods instead of facing the truck? Just in case there is an attack. Do you see what I'm saying? We should probably hurry up and get inside the tent because what if there is a bear like watching us right now? <laughs> we slept a lot. Remember how I said I was going to sleep at like 9? I really fell asleep at like 10, but I woke up at 10. So I just slept 12 hours. It's been a busy week. When I go camping, if it rains, it makes the trip that much better. Only when I'm sleeping. Like once I'm already in my tent, I and Sandy completely forgot about daylight saving, so I adjusted my watch, and now, now it's 10 o'clock. Everyone always talks about how hard it is to tear down after camp. I promise you, it's really not that hard at all. Just snap, bada boom, bada bang. It's just that simple of a thing. So, our very first camping with bears. An absolute success. I did fight off like three or four bears. It's nothing big. You know, just had to protect the territory, which I paid $46 for. Make sure to leave a like, a comment, and a subscription below.